neither kings nor queens nor royal marines, the twenty-eighth on Friday. Right, guys and girls, welcome back to the workshop again. And uh, in all honesty, I'm a bit obsessed, concerned about uh, hygiene in the field. So what my theory is is I'm going to turn that and that into a portable shower hand cleaning sort of unit shouldn't take much doing um, but uh, I'll show you what's in the box and then I'll bring you back when it's all finished cheers so what do you get then so you get an 8 litre water container a bit like a fire extinguisher size a brush a pipe little bits of uh, not sort of stuff like that and a set of instructions so what I'm hoping to do is be able to use the pressurized system there and put the solar shower there we go on the end of it and use it as a shower or just for cleansing your hands and stuff like that so uh, realistically you're not wiping your ass and then using the water that you're going to drink out of a water container to uh, wash your hands so uh, I'll bring you back when I've done some work on it cheers right then well that was so easy it was to be honest it's hardly worth making a video on but um, all I've done is taken the, the the tube from the, what is meant to be a solar shower and thread it over about halfway down the black pipe now the water does tend to run back that way if you hold the pipe up the other way so it's only under a certain amount of pressure so I've just had it running for five minutes and put some tape around it so that stops that uh, the only hassle I had let's just move this was just in there let's uh, just show you yeah just in there the o-ring wasn't seated properly so I unscrewed it seated the o-ring properly and then pumped it up and there's no air leaks now that's pressurized now and you can you, as you can hear there's no, uh, no pressure coming out if you over pump it this thing is a, a safety release valve and it pops up so if you put too much air in it rather than it blowing up or whatever it uh, that thing just pops up like that and lets the air out carrying a handle should you want it and that's about it really um, oh yeah the, the tube there it's about eight foot of tubing you can not let any thicker really I suppose and then just to show you it working it works off this little switch here you can see in the background there there's the water coming out and then you can push that forward or push that forward and it allows it to stay on so obviously you don't have to hold it um, Obviously you could do different things, put a longer tube on etc etc and uh, you know hang it over trees or whatever you wanted. I don't know what the height is it'll pump to, it seems to be working fine. I've had this is high above my head and I'm six foot so and it still pumps out then so that's not an issue. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Oh I got the, the thing itself. I got that from a shop called The Range, and that was 15 quid. Well, it's 14.99. So uh, I know you can buy um, sort of a 12 volt pump, but uh, I want to get away from using power. Got a few bits and bobs left over. The bag itself, I suppose that couldn't be an emergency water carrier if necessary, um, and all that sort of stuff. But it's all good, and I'll certainly take it away with me next time. You could utilise river water and stuff like that, or even your, you know, clean drinking water if you needed to. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased, and I'm going to use that in the future. Um, I know that the if you buy a, a proper one that uh, pump up yourself, they can be up to hundred quid, or you know, quite a lot of money anyway. And uh, you know, I've seen the expedition ones go up to hundred quid anyway, so I'm not paying that. But uh, yeah, again, short video. Hope you found that of use. And uh, 
what I've been waffling on here, the reason I've been waffling on is because uh, I've been talking for three and a half minutes now and that's just on the pump that I've used so uh, I haven't pumped it up anymore and it's still leaking enough water out of there to uh, allow you to have a decent shower I suppose or a half decent shower and wash your hands and all that sort of stuff so uh, again hope you found it out of use the uh, oh by the way the solar shower itself uh, cost me 2.99 so that's uh, again that was from the range 2.99 from the range so there you go cheers guys just over four minutes and it's still running well oh, it's just ease it off now so there you go four minute shower and then pump it up again cheers guys thanks right and also just so that it's not a waste the bag itself that should be the solar shower it's uh, obviously black on one side to absorb the heat and then clear on the other side so that you can see what's in it um, and uh, in all honesty that would fold down to next to nothing and uh, could go in your bag as an emergency water carrier or you know if you want to fill up from streams and stuff like that that would uh, if you kept it clean you could uh, use that use some sort of water filter to put it into there so uh, yeah all in all comes with this little uh, little stop valve to be honest I don't know how good it is cause obviously three quids nothing is it but it's on off and stuff like that so uh, yeah at least that's not wasted and then you know answers on a postcard what you could use that for clean your butt uh, yeah your teeth or whatever <laughs> but yeah anyway guys use everything up that it's uh, so for under 20 quid water carrier and some sort of shower or even use it as what you want to use it for a portable car washer cheers guys thanks